Hi there. Have you heard the crazy news about what happened in the Hawaiian Islands on the 2nd of May? A massive volcanic eruption, that's what happened. An active shield volcano Kilauea burst again, and the blast was stronger than ever. Last time it happened in 2014, and it didn't bring much consequences back then. This time, however, it started big with a magnitude 5 earthquake spreading around the island super rapidly. There was so much lava that it reached Leilani Estates and burned down 27 houses. Hundreds of residents were forced to leave due to the horrific consequences of the event. Poisonous, toxic gases and extremely high temperatures converted the area into a living hell. And it all happened last week. Kilauea is one of the less dormant volcanoes on our planet. About 40 hectares of land are already covered in nothing but volcanic rock. You might as well call it a mini apocalypse. Houses and cars that were in the area are all gone now. After a few days of continuous ejection of hot masses and solid clouds of ashes, the process suddenly stopped. Volcanologists failed to see what caused the abrupt change. Many people say that there's something weird and mystical about Kilauea. Technically, the eruption continues for 35 years now, it's just that now it is at its peak. Out of three active volcanoes in Hawaii, Kilauea is the youngest and the most lively one. It's hard to tell when the cycle's gonna stop, since it has been going on for ages. The reason being is that there's still a hell of a lot of magma in the bowels of the island. There is a way, however, to predict when it's gonna stop, and it all depends on the pressure inside the mountain. Well, basically, a volcano is a sort of bit like a uh, water supply system. The only difference is that the pipes are buried deep underground, and instead of water, they're filled with sizzling hot lava. And it's like the crater is a storage tank, with its underground piping and everything. When the magma is still underground, it slowly builds its way up through the tracts, up to the crater, and when the pressure is too immense and there's too much lava, the floodgates gets open and it all flows out, covering the terrain underneath. Sometimes this process makes the earth shake its booty. So that's exactly what happened with Kalauea. For years, the magma was coming up, gathering at the top. The result of that came as an earthquake and a subsequent eruption. Still, no one can predict the behavior of this cranky guy. It seems like something that has a life of its own, which it has actually. The overall amount of lava has dropped by 200 meters. How and why did that happen remains a mystery. The best way to figure it out is to measure the pressure under the Earth's crust. The so-called seismic activity allows to determine the possibility of an earthquake, and if it's high, then it's a sign that there's still a lot of lava inside. Personally, I think this whole scientific approach is very interesting. Did you know that they use GPS to see the way the ground changes its form? Looks like there's plenty of lava still inside Kalauea, and it will certainly remain active for some years to come. If the magma's thick and pasty, it can remain hot for weeks, but when it'll cool down, the workers will probably try to get rid of it. Luckily, Hawaii is a very fertile island so it's quite certain that this scorched earth will soon be thriving with vegetation. But until Kalauea keeps on spitting sizzling lava, the terrain will remain bare. Well, thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you liked it, and I hope that you'll raise the awareness by sharing it with your friends. Thanks again, stay tuned for the next episode, it's coming soon.